Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Your Tech Today. Today we'll have a look at a power bank and it's a 10,000 mAh power bank from a company called Tugza. I bought it on Amazon.in for about 1000 rupees. I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy it for the best price. Please use that link to make your purchases. So this is the front of the box. I hope it's this color only because I really like this color and high capacity. This is the side. So it has two outputs. That is one is two amps at five volts and one is a one amp five volts. Smart power saving, smart power dis detection. It can detect what kind of device and it will uh, give that much power only how much the device needs. You can charge two devices simultaneously and temperature protection, protection is there. This is the back of the box. So most of the specifications are covered by the sticker but the main features are high battery capacity, lithium polymer cells and um, ideal for most devices and rest of the things, LED indicators I have uh, not told you but it's there, we will have a look at those when you open the box and the MRP written is 2499 but it's available for 1070 rupees on Amazon.in as of today, it's made in China only, that's it. Let's open it up, it says slide out over here, so what should I slide out, okay, nice packaging. Five time to full charge iPhone. That's what is written. Ten hours to be fully charged. That's a long time to charge this power bank. But it's okay once you charge it. It can charge your phone five, uh, five times. Okay. The product looks beautiful. It's all matte, rubberized. Good grip. Size is also pretty good. Let's compare it to my Note 4. So you can get an idea what the size is like, the thickness is, it's almost more than twice the thickness of a Note 4, let's con compare it to a hard disk drive, it's thinner than a 2.5 inch hard disk, ok let's see what else is there in the box. One year limited warranty. Users manual. I don't think we need to read these. And a nice micro USB to USB cable. About 10 inches I think. So let's take a look at the product. So it says phone and tablet over here. So I guess this is the 2.1 amp and this is the 1 amp socket and this is for charging. Let's connect it here. Let's see whether it has any juice left in it. Okay, my phone is charging. Let's check what is the... So charger connected, so it is detected as an AC charger only, not a USB charger, fast charging, uh, it's not fast charging, it's just charging AC, the fast charger is connected, the phone will say fast charging, let's check the one amp, again it says AC only because it is giving one amp, if it is less than one amp it will show USB connected. So there are nice blue LEDs over here which will show you, I hope it's coming on the camera, they show you the charge level. So the four LEDs, that means if all the, all the four are on it's 100%, then if one is off it will be 75, then 50 and 25. 
So when the 25 one starts blinking means the power is less than 25%. So right now the last one is blinking that means we have a, about 75 to 100% in between the capacity of the battery is there. Now let's connect it to a charger and see charges or not. Yes. So whatever the level that light will be blinking over here while it's charging. So another cool feature about this power bank is as you can see the LEDs are on but you want to check your power level so there's no actual physical button on it you just shake it and it shows what is the charge level I'll show it to you once more now the LEDs are off yeah. so it will show you the charge level that's a cool little trick so overall I'm pretty happy with this product, the way it looks, the way it functions and I think it should be a good product. It says designed by Tuxer in USA. So let's check whether it supports pass through charging or not. That is when we are charging the power bank itself, will it charge your phone or anything attached to it. We'll just do the test with the simple USB light. So as you can see it does not support that either on the 1 amp or the 2 amp socket so that's sort of a negative I would say rest everything looks good so if you remove this and reconnect it starts working so let's just check how much uh, current does it take when it's charging so I have this power meter over here which is a USB power meter it will be like this so I have connected it to the charger and I'm going to charge the power bank. So it's taking about 4.87 volt and 870 milliamps is the current that it takes when it's charging. So obviously when it is 10,000 mAh, it will take about 10 hours to charge. I'm sure uh, the battery is fully charged almost right now, that's why the current will slowly reduce. But when it is empty, it will take about 1 amp to charge. Now let's check how much current this power bank can provide to charge your phones. So as I told you, it has a 2 amp port and a 1 amp port. So I will connect the power meter to the 2 amp first. And I will connect a phone to it. I'll put my Note 4 for charging. So this is in the 2 amp port. So my battery is about 80% charged, so it's taking about 1.2 amps to charge the phone. Let me connect another phone at the same time, which is this one. Now it's charging both, both the phones through the 2 amp socket and it's going up to 1.6. So it is able to power both the phones and I guess the Sony is charging at about 500 milliamps. Let's connect it to the 1 amp port and see whether it will support the both the phones or not. So again, it is at 1.6, 1.7. So I'm sure the 2 amp is just the highest that it will reach. So 1.6, 1.7 amps is also pretty good performance for this power bank. As you can see, you can charge two phones at this time and another USB port is free. Where I can plug in a light or something like that. So I believe it's not really specific which one you connect it to. The power bank is smart enough to decide which port to send how much current to according to the needs. So it's just for marking. There is no specific port which will be 2 amps or 1 amp. As you can see on the back it's just written output it's not specified how much output is each port there is a smart controller inside that means. so guys this completes the unboxing and sort of a first look and review of this power bank if there are any issues that i face with this product i will update it in the description and i won't be doing a full review of this as I feel the product is what it is, it should work pretty well. So thanks for watching this video. 
please buy it from the link given in the description it will really help the channel and like subscribe and share the video and i will see you in the next video take care bye bye